Welcome, I'm Ali Newton and I'm going to teach you how to use two methods to upcycle these plastic pots with today. First off, I painted both the pots with Newton's primer. I then made these decals out of Crafter's resin. So you, all you do is mix one part A, one part B together and stir it up and then pour it into the moulds, as you see I am doing here. This Crafter's Resin is a no VOC, no nasties added product. Because of the way it was made and the lack of chemicals that are added to it, it does slightly compromise it in that it will dry out over time and become quite brittle. The way to combat this is to actually seal over it as soon as you can, either with chalk paint, varnish, or whatever you are going to be painting over the top of it, and that will prevent the liquids escaping and hopefully make it last for a good long time. I had some left over, so I also made some little butterflies and bees and just a few extras because I hate wasting any product and I'll be using these on another project. They actually turned out quite beautifully and I'm making a, a little wall hanging thing, would you believe, from them. It's just another little crafty thing that I like to do. This was about 48 hours later. The moulds come out really easily and they were still slightly flexible so that's a really good time to take them out and if you want to curve them around surfaces which i did slightly want to curve the lavenders around on the surface the glue i used on these was contact glue it's a really good strong sticking glue it works by contact so you basically put it onto the surface you are adhering to and also onto the decals. Let it get tacky and then push them on. And it's a good strong bond. It doesn't look very good what you can see at the moment, but this is all going to be painted up and you'll be so surprised how beautifully it comes out. Chose to paint this in our beautiful country green. It's a lovely rustic country style green. And I just painted straight over everything with the chalk paint. When it was dry, I brushed on our lavender beeswax polish with our beautiful Italian long handled wax brush. This gave it the most beautiful natural sheen while giving it 95% protection and sealing. I find brushing it on is the quickest way and easiest way to apply it, but you can apply it with a lint-free rag. To highlight the lavender, I chose our Amethyst Magic Metallic Wax by Prima. Squirted a bit out of my finger and applied it very lightly, brushed it over onto the lavender Petals. Such a beautiful colour and it's very complementary to the country green. Next I brushed on our antiquing wax which is a beautiful dark brown wax. This is going to make the lavenders further pop out. While the wax is still wet I've been rubbing it back and just leaving it in little spots where I like to leave it just where I think it looks good um, yeah and this is gives the paint a bit of dimension and a bit of interest as well I'm just using a paper towel but you can use a lint free rag as well I felt it needed just a bit more zing from the Amethyst Magic Wax, so I used the brush this time to get it into more of the details and just applied a bit more to make it really pop. I 
For the next pot, I'm going to try and give it a stone look effect. To do this, I used our sea wash powder. I mixed in one tablespoon of charcoal chalk paint with one tablespoon of our sea wash. Stir it up until it's nice and thick and icing paste like. Then with our Italian dab brush, dab it on all over the prime pot. Be as rough as you like. It's those peaks that are going to give the texture when the charcoal chalk paint dries. After applying the lavender decals to this finish, I dabbed on our beautiful chalk paint in olive -y. So just dab that randomly all over the pot and it just toned in so beautifully with the charcoal. With a paper towel, I just started dabbing all over the whole pot. I actually added a little bit of white chalk paint and a bit more of the charcoal until I got it all kind of blended in and, and looking natural. It's just a, a process that you go through and uh, yeah, it'll, it'll come clear once you do it. But the main thing is to make sure it doesn't look brushed on and unnatural. So all this dabbing just gave it that beautiful, slightly mossy, stony look. Next, I applied a coat of our lavender beeswax polish. I used our Italian long-handled wax brush to apply it. It's a nice, quick way of applying the wax to it. You can see the beautiful sheen that this wax is giving the finished piece. And this is all prepping it to get it ready to apply the black wax is coming along very nicely and you'd never know that it was a plastic pot right now, would you? To complete the look, I used our beautiful Newton's black wax. Once again, using the wax brush, I used it to push into all the crevices and quickly rubbed it off while it was still wet because if I'd left it just sitting on the surface like that, it would just be completely black. So just gently brushing it all over until I got the effect I wanted. Brushing and wiping. This is the final result. I'm really happy with it. I think it's a success. Please get in touch if you've got any questions. Um, and I hope you enjoy your upcycling pursuits as much as I have been. Thanks very much for watching. And please remember to subscribe to Newton's Paints on YouTube. Thank you.